What's going on guys, Dwight Man here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Project T, which kind of fell under the radar for me, if you guys don't remember. Back in May, during the anniversary stream, Dead by Daylight and Behavior had this to say. About two upcoming projects within the world of Dead by Daylight, that being Supermassive's The Casting of Frank Stone, and an unnamed multiplayer PvE game by Midwinter, but we get to... So, they, they talk about this PvE game, um, they later go on in the stream talking about it, uh, naming it Project T, etc. Um, Project T, I kinda, kinda went under the radar, Casting of Frank Stone already came out, we already know that. Um, Tommy reached out to me and, and uh, put something in my Discord here about uh, something that was put out to the community, so I'll talk about that, and Woods also commented on this as well, so I appreciate those guys for doing that. Uh, and I also found this Reddit post kind of saying the same thing that happened about four hours ago, five hours ago maybe. Uh, Project T basically was cancelled. Uh, as this message went out to the Insiders program for those that were involved in that. So it says this. To our community, when we conceptualized Project T, we wanted to have players involved in it as early as possible, which led to the creation of the Insiders program. This approach allowed us to get very early validation on the project's core design and gameplay, which is something that often comes further into the production of the game. Following the playtest in July, we ran a thorough internal risk assessment from a product and commercial perspective. While a number of players expressed appreciation for what they played, unfortunately, the outcome of this deep analysis yielded unsatisfactory overall results. It's with a heavy heart that we announced that Project T has been cancelled. We want to thank you for your support throughout this journey. Uh, and this is also sent via email to those that were in the Insiders program for Project T. Now, the Insiders program just basically let you get uh, some early playtest access and everything, and you, I think you can just sign up for it, uh, which is cool because you know this 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 uh, this gameplay looks looks interesting. It looks it looks cool. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be like a it was like a Left 4 Dead. Uh, meets DVD type of thing. Uh, it's, it's kind of what it, it looked like. It was pitched here as that. Uh, you got like in-game rewards and stuff for being a playtester and whatnot, which is, you know, that's cool. Uh, but they posted this to the Insiders program and they have yet to say anything about it. It's still on Steam. Uh, you can still definitely wishlist it. I don't think it's, I mean, it, it's been canceled, but, you know, there's that. Uh, and Midwinter Entertainment haven't, hasn't said anything either on their Twitter yet, which is, uh, again, interesting. Um, I looked into who Midwinter Entertainment was. Uh, it looks like this company existed before, and they they joined Behavior Interactive, and they're working on like that title. But uh, before this, they they were um, in 2021. They released a title called Scavengers into early access, and it's like a free-to-play action shooter. Uh, so look into that. And uh, unfortunately, it's no longer on Steam, uh, but you can still kind of see the store page if you look it up. Um, I looked into it, and it looks interesting. It looks really, really cool. Uh, the gameplay of it looks pretty pretty interesting. The graphics are pretty pretty cool, and you know for a free to play this this uh, this looks interesting. You know, like it's probably you know I don't know if it got advertisement or got around or did really well, but uh, it, it looks cool. And if we got anything like this for Dead by Daylight, that would have been really cool. I would have been really interested in it. Uh, looks like it got shut down in 2022, which is around the same time they joined Behavior, which is you know interesting, <laughs> funny, <laughs> curious. But uh, there was some gameplay footage that got leaked as well. You check out, like, Drag Legacy's video, they have a lot more on this. I'll link that in the description as well, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it, interesting. I, I think it's, it's very cool, and what sucks is, you know, this thing getting cancelled, it's it's a shame, because it does look like it's promising, it looks like a very interesting game, but what do you guys think? What are you guys' uh, thoughts, opinions? Go ahead and throw, leave those in the description if you can, I'll go ahead and read all those and reply to the ones I can. Uh, if you like the video, like it, thank you so much for watching once again, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and as always, hasta gamers.